Hello, everybody. I am sure you guys are very familiar with uh, what we're looking at right now at this point, which is Tiawaroa. Considering I've been doing a ton of red deer grinding here recently, attempting to get my third great one red deer. However, today we are going to take a break away from the red deer grind and look at some of the other trophies that I've managed to get during the last couple of weeks. Because we have managed to find some pretty cool stuff over the last couple of weeks of just hunting in random multiplayer servers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. Now this first one that we've got here, there is no commentary over as it was late at night. But we ended up finding ourselves a piebald moose in a Revontuli multiplayer. Which is always a welcome thing to find anytime I can see a rare moose. And this one just happened to be a pretty decent looking level 3 as well. So it was very nice to see. I haven't seen too many rare moose until recently. Which is really good for, uh, for us at least. I mean it's always nice when you go from seeing nothing to seeing a decent amount of them. And so from only seeing like 3 rare moose my entire time playing to managing to get three within the last two weeks it's pretty incredible so i'm very happy about that now this next one right here also does not have commentary over it so i will be kind of explaining exactly what happened here i've been shooting just random turkeys and pronghorn and elk during my great one grind for the great one black bear and it has yielded some pretty cool trophies including this one right here which is an albino turkey i ended up shooting at it as it was flying away and didn't realize what it was until i picked up the track and it did end up saying that it was an albino or at least i, I think if, if it was actually leucistic and i'm just not remembering that i'm gonna feel pretty stupid but i think it was albino but we ended up chasing it down it took quite a while i think a total of like 20 or 30 minutes to chase it down after we initially spooked it but we did finally end up getting it and it ended up being a pretty decent rare turkey. Love to see it. It's not too often I see rare turkeys nowadays because of all of the random light browns that kind of like dilute the amount of white turkeys we see and make it difficult to tell if I'm looking at a rare or just a light brown. But it was nice to finally get a true rare. Now let's go ahead and jump into the rest of these clips because there is quite a few of them still that do have commentary over them. So without further ado, let's get to it. And this is why it pays off to just shoot random stuff while you're grinding. That's a diamond turkey right there. Whoa now buddy, don't be moving on us like that. You almost got away, but not quite little dude. There we go. The level 3 turkey, or if you're bro bro, the level 8 turkey. So let's uh, see if it makes diamond. I imagine it will, but I've heard people say that they control now. It's a diamond, 4.60. 10.24 kgs. Beautiful. Good way to start the day. A diamond turkey. It's not a diamond bear, or a great one bear, but I'll take it. A big piebald. There's a big piebald right there. Oh, never mind. He's not as big as I thought. Uh, the rack tricked me for a second. It is one of the good looking racks though. Nice, nice. So that's our first uh, trophy of the day if we can get this guy down. Beautiful. That is what we love to see. Hey Mystic, how's it going man? Welcome. You made it just in time for a uh, piebald white tail deer. Hey Blasters, you didn't really miss too much. We just took down a piebald. Yeah, me too, Dylan. Me too. It tricks me as well. I see the amount of tines and at first glance I'm like, oh, that's a big one. And then it's not nearly as big as I thought it was. But it's still cool. Nice to get a little piebald down. There he is, 173 piebald white-tailed deer. Looking good. Not too bad for the first rare of the day. Gosh, that 6.5 just shredded him. <laughs> I love the 6.5. It's got such good penetration. I just wish the expansion was better so that it would kill quicker. Gosh, melanistic mountain lion, hi. Oh my gosh, that is the last thing I expected to see today. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, what do I have on me to even shoot it? Um, nothing. I literally have nothing I can take it with um, to get full score. We're gonna have to shoot it with the 300 because I don't want to go back up. It's only a level two female. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's see if it'll turn its head. Come on. I mean, we're not gonna get full score regardless, so yeah, we'll probably just blast it now. It doesn't matter if we get full score. Because we can't. We're using the 300 on it. Can't get full score. That's a cool little surprise. That's very interesting though. I don't remember shooting too many uh, female mountain lions, so the fact that we have a melanistic female makes me think maybe something else was done to SRP that we didn't know about. I definitely don't remember shooting any females on my own map. That is beautiful. Alright, I'm really curious. What are they going to look like in the harvest screen with the brand new lighting and reflections? Are they going to look as stunning as I'm expecting? Oh, yes they do. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. That is gorgeous. That is so good looking. I love how it's not like pitch black anymore. It's got a little bit of a chocolate tone to it. Wow. You know, you never really realize how much a simple lighting and reflection upgrade can make in a game, and wow, it is quite the upgrade. We've seen that with pretty much every species. They look a million times better than they used to, and it really does not stop here. It continues on with the amazing looking species uh, changes and trophies. Well, it just ran off, but there was a level 9 red deer on the exact same server that we just found that diamond and that albino. And uh, it would just happen to be a lake that this guy had not checked. This guy was hunting this lake up here and as you can see he slaughtered pretty much everything. And so I went down here to see if I could check this before he was able to get down here. And it, uh, it seems like we have found ourselves another legendary. I'm just absolutely blown away at this update for Call of the Wild. All these resets on all these maps has really just made it so there's trophies everywhere which is really one of those things that happens quite often whenever there's a reset on a specific map but considering we got resets on every single map in the game besides Silver Ridge Peaks it's just making it so lots of trophies are showing up because there's way more options to uh, go for when it comes to maps and that is uh, just producing tons and tons of amazing trophies and I think because of that uh, the next few weeks are going to be pretty loaded as far as the amount of trophies we see getting posted by different people on uh, Discord and other social platforms. It seems like it's going to be one of those kind of updates and there's so many positive changes to so many of these maps including T. Alvaroa that I really feel like this is the update that is going to revitalize Call of the Wild for the people that stopped playing it due to bugs or uh, one thing or another. I think this might be the one that bring a lot of people back. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is, right there in the trees. I think he might be bedded down, and if so, that's really cool. This is an amazing place to take a giant red deer like this. I've always dreamed of taking a red deer in the forests of Tiawaroa instead of in the drink zones, and now we're finally going to get to do that. Now, if only we can do that with a great one red deer at some point, that would just be the icing on top of the cake when it comes to the red deer grind. Look at that absolutely giant stag. I think we're going to try and take it with the Red Raptor Reflex Sight. Just to make things a little bit more interesting. Now, he is bedded down, so we should be able to get pretty close to him and actually get a good shot with the uh, Red Raptor in 308. And that is actually his rest zone, so that's very cool. Taking a resting zone stag is definitely something you don't do too often. Well, let's see if we can get this guy's attention. We're about 60 meters away. If we just uh, run up real quickly, we should be able to get his attention, get him to stand up, and then take a shot with the 308 here. And here we go, he has finally stood up, and now we can get our shot into him. That is a beautiful red deer, and that is an amazing way to take him out in the resting zone with the Red Raptor Reflex Sight. What a way to take out a giant stag. I am incredibly happy with that. Wow, that is an absolute giant red deer. Now, it did max out at 265, if I'm not mistaken, so this can't be a new record for us. However, 253 is still a solid diamond stag. It is definitely the smaller rack of the two that look very similar. I'm just happy that we managed to have such insane luck in multiplayer today. But that is a beautiful stag and an awesome way to end the day.
Uh, well, I just spotted one of the rarest Medved trophies I've ever seen my entire time playing. We are in multiplayer, so I do gotta be careful that I don't lose it. But that is a female albino Siberian must deer. The, the very first one that I have seen in my entire time playing this game. This is truly a amazing thing to see. It's so good to finally be getting some rare musk deer after so long of not really being able to even hunt them because I just didn't enjoy Medved and they were in kind of bad places. Now they're actually in decent locations and the river is absolutely loaded with them so I got a feeling we're gonna start getting some rares. There we have it, a beautiful albino musk deer that is so cool looking. You know, as risky as it is, I gotta get a picture of it just sitting on the ice like this. And I hope that I don't crash because that is actually pretty incredible looking. So let's go ahead and claim it now. Our very first albino Siberian musk deer. And that froze for a second. It wouldn't let me pick it up. Well, not really froze, but for a second it wouldn't actually let me pick it up. That scared me quite a bit. But now that we have got it, we can get a look at this beautiful thing. The very first albino musk deer I've ever seen. My entire time playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is such a beautiful thing to see. I gotta say this might be one of my new favorite albinos. They look really good. 